bus. Uh, we were retired and we were in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia at the 11th annual uh, reunion of the Navy Musicians Association. And this is a unique three because we were all in the same advanced <coughs> class uh, at the same time. And I guess we will start this off uh, by, like there, I've started the rest of them. And since you guys came in actually in 48 and I came in 49. 47. 47. Well, then you should be first. <laughs> how did you hear about the Navy Music? I don't theory? remember. You're how George it. Diesler. Yeah, I'm George Diesler. You play flute? I have no idea how I heard about it. All I know is in July of 47, I was put on a train in Green Bay, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and went down to Chicago, 44 Rush Street. I mm -hmm. never forget that. Took a physical, passed the physical. They put me on the train at 7 o'clock at night, overnight to the DC, to yeah. the music school. Yeah. Next day I had my audition. Uh, I think Fultz was the auditioner. And then that afternoon I was supposed to go back Great Lakes, and something happened with my orders, so I stayed overnight at the uh, Soldiers, Army Navy Club downtown, and then they put me on the next night, put me on the train overnight, went went to Great Lakes, and did three months boot camp. Yeah. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and then I went back to Green Bay, and then went back down to the boot camp, and the school. then they, yeah, they processed us. <clears throat> and sent us to D.C. to the school, and I don't know exactly when, was September or October, I know I started school in 1947, November. Okay. Uh, I think I spent uh, a couple weeks in X Division, and because I was a flute player, I got into school fast. They, did, they didn't hang me there in the barracks. That's basically it. Okay, then you were in school for how long before you could transfer that? Well, we, there was, what, six months schooling we had at the time, but we were, I was put into that uh, MIDI band, the summer MIDI cruise with Maurice Ford, no, who was the chief at the time. We had a 23-piece band, and uh, George Maranac was the other chief. He went aboard a cruiser, we went aboard the Coral Sea. We did the midshipman cruise and then went back to school. And when we were at school, they dropped, uh, I think Curtis Lee was uh, a first class at the time. He was our, our first class in the band, Baritone. And then they, uh, they took Kurt out and they sent a group of us to Frisco on a Pullman car went across country, met some of the other people in Frisco, uh, Cy Harris, the tuba player, uh, I can't remember the others, Mike Wagner, and Maury Paxton was the baritone player. He was already in Pearl Harbor when we got there. So you, that was your first band after the middle uh, cruise? School, yeah, the midshipman cruise that went back to school and then we were sent to I think it was Unit Band 164 in Pearl Harbor at the Naval Station. And who had the band? Uh, Buddy Parks, okay. Robert Parks. All right. Uh, All right. Hey, good, good guy. Now let's catch Cecil up to that point. You came in 48. 47. You came in 47. <laughs> He's yes. old like that. Gosh. Yeah, I joined in uh, September 47. Okay. Uh, my procedure was basically the same as George. Uh, well, to go back just a little farther, I had a four-year scholarship to Stetson University in Deland, Florida, all paid for, for four years. And I went on vacation that summer, and I came back home and had a brochure from the School of Music in the mail. And I started reading that brochure, and I said, I think this is what I want to do. And I told my parents about that, and needless to say, they didn't like that one bit. They wanted me to go to college. But they finally relented, and uh, 
So I said, oh, I used to have to get like three letters of recommendation and fill out all these applications and everything, you know, and, and send it in and they had to approve your application. And then they sent me to Jacksonville and I had a physical in Jacksonville. And they put me on the overnight train to Washington and uh, I had to go t to my audition there and there was a chief paquette on the staff. Who Roy, gave, Roy Paquette. Yeah, he gave me my audition. And I believe this was like on a Friday, so I had to stay over the weekend. So I had a whole weekend in Washington. And for a guy from a little town in Florida, that was quite a thing. I had a whole weekend in Washington, D.C. and I just did whatever I wanted to do. And there was a, another guy there at the same time named Red Schaefer. And we took our, and we, so we spent the whole weekend together really in Washington. And I went to boot camp. Ended up back in Washington. Great Lakes. Yeah, Great Lakes. Yeah. I went to boot camp in Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. Normally, a guy from Florida would go to San Diego for boot camp. That's interesting. But I went to Great. All the musicians <coughs> went to Great Lakes. And at that time. Yep. At that time. Mm -hmm. You and also did I, your audition at the school. <coughs> they yeah. sent you to the school right. from wherever. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. But anyway, I got back to the school in December of 47, and uh, I was in the first class that started in January. And I left in uh, June of 48, and I had orders for a Sinclair band, Sinclair Fleet Band here in Norfolk. And an interesting thing happened the day I got to Norfolk. There was an aircraft carrier, the USS Kearsarge, and it was a real stormy day and their launch sank out in the harbor, the Elizabeth River. 28 guys drowned wow. in that launch on that day. So I remember that pretty vividly. You know? Now, what, Briley had the, the, the Sinclair Band? You no, mean? Rosenberg. 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 Yeah. Right, yes. okay. Right, you told me that, and I had forgotten it that fast. Yeah. And, uh, that was before we had warrants now stuff like that. Right, yeah, we didn't have any. Well, we did have one warrant officer that was a guy at the school. John I. Carey. I. Carey, yeah. yeah. He was assistant officer in charge. Yeah, he was that a was yeoman. Boat, one yeah, boat he was a yeoman. Yeah, he was one a musician, boat. yeah. No, John I. Carey was a musician. He was a musician. He, yeah. he was. But, I mean, he wasn't ranked musician. No, no because we were a deck rate. Right. And yeah. if you went to commission, just like they are now, yeah. you have to become warrant boats. Like, for that period of time, we had ship's clerks. They were ship's clerks. Yeah. But he was warrant boats, and um, and and see now the Thurman was still there. Right. Thurman he was a went school. And, okay. Yeah. All right. And now where did you go when you left the school? You think? Sinclair Fleet. Sinclair Fleet. Right. I stayed there until 1951, and they commissioned the Iowa for the Korean War, and they made up a, a unit band for the Iowa, and I got assigned to that. Chief Brumball was in charge. Okay, now they made made up made this band up from the school, and you were assigned from St. No, Fleet. no, they made it up from various bands throughout okay. the country. All right, so it was really made up by the bureau. Right. And where did you guys assemble? Where did Treasure you Island. Assemble? Okay. In San Francisco. Okay. Yeah. And Brumby had that band. Right. Uh, uh, Skinny Marshall. Skinny was on that was band lead, too. Yeah, the lead first class. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I didn't come in until '49. Okay. Yeah, just a kid. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I was there in D.C. And I was a student up at Howard. And I had I knew that I was going to be drafted, you know, and I was talking to the band director. And I used to hang around uh, Bernie Mason. And I, he would saw his violin in his office there. And, and I would be doing it. He said, uh, gosh, I wish I had stayed in the service. I'm asking these questions. He says there are a lot of benefits. So I decided to, to go down and, and take this audition. And my parents knew about it. They didn't object to it or anything like that. But they had wanted me to be a doctor. I'm in music school. But I had a little scholarship that was working there, too. And um, I was auditioned by Fultz, Johann H. Fultz at the time. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Later, he dropped the Johann. Yeah. And, uh, and I went to Great Lakes, this overnight thing, and uh, was there for boot camp. And a question I wanted to ask you guys is, while you were in boot camp, were you in a 
Were you in a boot camp band? A boot band? Not I. I was in a drum and bugle corps because I played trumpet at the time. All right. And I, I was in the drum and bugle corps, but we had a dance band that we rehearsed no, we in. Anything like that? And I came back to school with with Ira Porter that I had met up there, and uh, we came back to the school and. I was in school uh, almost 18 months, and when Dutch came there to form that, uh, when the 171 band was formed to go to Sixth Fleet, I was part of that band, and I got pulled out of that band because they set the bands up according to rate, and I'm a seaman. Se yeah, I'm a seaman. I made seaman. They need the second class, so uh, Callahan in that band. Uh, I got pulled out of that band, so I went in 172 with Nathan Flippin, and mm -hmm. we went aboard the Eriskany. We were plank on the on the Eriskany, and uh, that that was a an interesting uh, couple of years because that was the first carrier that went around Cape Horn, yeah, and, uh, and a, a num number of things there. I made a midi, uh, a midi cruise on the Eriskany about ten years after that. Did you? Yeah. Now, who had that band? I did. You had the yeah. band? Okay. Because yeah. that was, now who did you relieve on there? Or do you remember? Who? Oh, gosh. I'm jumping around a little bit. Now. Yeah. Because that was Phil Field's first ship. Because uh, I had had him. No, as this a was long before Phil Field. Okay. Uh, I don't remember who I relieved. Uh, it was Union Band 193, Tom Airland. Okay. Done it. We were out of Mayport. Yeah. And we did a nine months cruise on the FDR the Roosevelt mm -hmm. and then we did a midi cruise on the Oriskany mm -hmm. and then we went back to the Met on the Forest yeah. But we jumped way ahead of ourselves because we were acting like chiefs and we were right. not even first class yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we did our time, we played in these bands and we did what bands do aboard ship and I think most people that will watch this film are pretty aware that most of us did pretty much the same things. And we progressed up the ranks, we made first class, and the time came when you decided that you wanted to go back to the advanced course.